I sat next to my bedroom window and watched as the snow outside fell softly around my family's little house. Today was Christmas Eve and tomorrow being Christmas Day. The soft glow of twinkling Christmas lights adorned the houses in the neighborhood, casting a warm and festive ambience. After the last few years of having no snow on Christmas, it was finally going to be a white Christmas this year. I wrapped my hands around a mug of hot cocoa, feeling its comforting warmth seeping through my fingers. Of course, if mom knew I had this up here she would kill me, but what she doesn't know won't hurt her, right? As I stared out at the serene winter landscape, memories of past Christmases flooded my mind. The laughter of family and friends, the joyful exchange of gifts, and the tantalizing aroma of holiday feasts filled my thoughts. I continued to gaze out of the window, my breath creating a foggy mist on the glass as I waited for the clock to strike midnight. The snowfall outside seemed to intensify, creating a magical aura around my family's little house. The hushed whispers of the wind carried the promise of a Christmas miracle. As the final seconds ticked away, I took a deep breath, my heart pounding in anticipation. Midnight arrived, and with it, a sense of enchantment filled the room. The world outside fell into a momentary silence, as if nature itself was holding its breath to hear my Christmas wish. With a mixture of excitement and trepidation, I closed my eyes and whispered, please let me be a girl for Christmas this year. The words lingered in the air, a secret plea to the universe. I opened my eyes and looked around, half expecting something magical to happen right away. However, the room remained still, and reality seemed unchanged. Disappointment began to creep in, but I shook it off, reminding myself that some wishes took time to come true. I sipped my hot cocoa, its warmth is a comforting presence amidst the cool winter night. Suddenly, a soft chime echoed through the room. Startled, I turned to see a small elf doll standing in my room. But they should all be downstairs standing by the Christmas tree, not up here in my room. Mom must have placed it in my room during the day for some reason, and I just didn't notice it until now. Mom collects them, and she tells my little sister Katie that they help Santa get the gifts here and they help him decorate the house for Christmas. But I know that she buys the foot-tall elves on Amazon. Besides I'm too old to believe in Christmas magic or any magic. I am now a junior in high school, and I got to start thinking rationally and not like a little kid. Santa isn't real and I'll never have my wish granted. I rolled my eyes and got up from where I was sitting and walked over to the elf so I could take it and the empty mug downstairs, when the elf suddenly moved. Its tiny, felt-covered feet pattered across my dresser, and I froze, my eyes widening with disbelief. The elf climbed up my dresser with amazing speed. Once at the top he stood on the top of the dresser and looked at me. The elf's eyes twinkled mischievously, and a small, high-pitched voice filled the room. Merry Christmas! Your wish has been heard, the elf exclaimed, its tiny mouth moving animatedly. I stumbled backward, still clutching my mug, as the reality of the situation sunk in. The enchanting feeling in the air wasn't just my imagination, something magical was happening. The elf hopped off the dresser and twirled in the air, leaving a trail of sparkles behind. Whoa, I muttered, my heart racing. You're alive. The elf nodded enthusiastically. Indeed. I'm Sparkles, Santa's special Christmas wish elf. Don't worry it takes a while for you humans to process this, I'll wait. Sparkles tapped his foot a couple times before he jumped back up. Okay. Time's up. He said. Keep it down my mom will hear you. I hissed as I looked over to my door. But Sparkles just laughed. Go to your window, you'll love it. Humans are always weirded out by it. I walked over to my window carefully and peered through it. The snow stopped falling, and I don't mean because it stopped snowing, but because the snow wasn't falling anymore, instead the snow just hung there in the air, as if it was hanging by wires. Nothing moved around my street. A flag that is on my neighbor's front porch was stopped mid-flap. What is going on here? I asked. Isn't it obvious Abby? I stopped time. I looked away from the window and at the elf with a quizzical look. Abby? I asked. Whoops, I forgot to introduce the wish that I'll be granting. 
Sparkles said before waving his hand and making a bag appear next to him. He reached inside and grabbed a scroll. He opened it and began to read from it. Eric Delaney age 6 Christmas wish, Dear Santa, please turn me into a girl that's all I want for Christmas. Eric Delaney age 7's Christmas wish, Dear Santa, please let me be a girl, I want to be a girl more than anything in the whole world. Eric Delaney age 8's Christmas wish, Dear Santa, please turn me into a girl named Abby. I promise this will be my only wish. Eric Delaney age 9, I stopped the elf before he could go on. I know what I wished for every Christmas. I'm 16 years old I get that it will never happen. Sparkle just smiled at me. Why do you think I'm here for? He asked. Wishes do come true, even big ones like yours. I stood there, my mind racing with a mix of disbelief and excitement. Sparkles, the Christmas wish elf, was telling me that my long-held Christmas wish might come true. It was a lot to process, and I couldn't help but feel a surge of hope mixed with a healthy dose of skepticism. You're here to grant my wish. But how? I asked, still trying to wrap my head around the idea of Christmas magic being real. Sparkles hopped off the dresser and landed gracefully on the windowsill. Well, Abby, it's not as simple as waving a wand, but it's not impossible either. Christmas magic works in mysterious ways, and it's all about believing. Your wishes, sincere and pure, have reached the North Pole, and Santa thought it was time to make them come true. Sparkles climbed back onto my dresser and sat down on the ledge of it. He waved his hand, and I could feel myself quickly shrinking down. I watched as my dresser got taller than me, and then I finally stopped shrinking. I turned around to see myself in a full-sized mirror that was magically standing up next to me. I was no longer wearing the red Christmas pajamas that mom had gifted me last night, instead I was wearing a red footy onesie that was meant for a toddler. And that was because I was now a toddler girl. I stared at my reflection in shock, my eyes widening as I took in the sight of my transformed self. My hair was in two pigtails on either side of my head, when I smiled, I could see that my teeth were still forming in my mouth, and it felt like I was wearing a diaper or at least a pull-up under the onesie. Oh dear, I seem to have messed that up a bit. Sparkles said. He raised his hand and waved it, and I began to grow, when I stopped, I looked in the mirror and saw that I was now at the age of six. I was still a girl, the girl seemed to have aged up with magic. I was now wearing a red nightgown that had the same Christmas theme as the pajamas that I had been wearing. It was also identical to the pajamas that my sister Katie was wearing right now. Six years old was when you first wished to be a girl. Sparkles said. Do you want to be this old now? He asked. I shook my head no, at him. Probably for the best, Sparkles said shrugging. It would be pretty awkward to go from being your sister's older brother to now being your sister's younger sister, wouldn't it? Before I could respond, Sparkles waved his hand again and began to grow and as I did the girl in the reflection began to age too, until I stopped. There you go Abby, age 16, the same age you were as a boy. I looked in the mirror and saw a teen girl looking back at me. My heart raced as I stared at the reflection in the mirror. The transformation was surreal and I couldn't believe that I was now a 16-year-old girl. Sparkles had made my deepest and most secret wish come true. I ran my hands over my face, feeling the softness of my new skin and the strands of long hair that fell around my shoulders. It was an overwhelming mix of emotions, excitement, disbelief, and a sense of wonder. Sparkles, still perched on the dresser, chuckled at my expression. Like what you see, Abby, he asked mischievously. I nodded, still processing the reality of the situation. This is incredible, Sparkles. I never thought it could actually happen. Well, Christmas magic is a powerful force, especially when fueled by genuine wishes. Now, you have until midnight to experience the magic of Christmas as the girl you've always wanted to be. Enjoy every moment, Abby. What do you mean I have until midnight? I asked, looking at him. Well Abby Christmas magic is strong, but it's not permanent, by this time tomorrow you will turn back to Eric. I wanted to protest, but sparkles hopped off the dresser and twirled in the air, leaving a trail of sparkles once again. 
As he disappeared, the enchanting feeling in the room lingered. I couldn't help but smile, feeling a newfound sense of freedom and joy. I must have fallen asleep, because the next thing I knew was that my little sister Katie was waking me up from whatever dread I had been having. Of course, it had to have been a dream, right? I mean there is no such thing as elves granting wishes and there was no way that I could have been turned into a girl. As I opened my eyes, I found myself back in my room, my heart still pounding from the vivid dream or magical experience I had just encountered. The sunlight streamed through the curtains, casting a warm glow on the familiar surroundings. I touched my face, half expecting to feel the softness of the girl I had become in my dream, but everything felt normal, my same old self. Abby, wake up. Mom said we can open our presents before breakfast. Katie's voice echoed from outside my room, snapping me out of my contemplation. I sat up in bed, rubbing my eyes and trying to shake off the remnants of the dream. Was it all just a figment of my imagination? The details were so vivid, and the emotions so real. Then I realized something. Katie had called me Abby. I never told anyone that I wished that I was a girl. That could only mean one thing. I looked down at myself and saw that I was still wearing the red Christmas nightgown. That I was wearing when sparkles turned me into a girl. I rushed to the mirror, my heart pounding with a mix of excitement and trepidation. As I looked at my reflection, I couldn't believe my eyes. The girl from my dream stared back at me, long hair, youthful features, and the same red nightgown. It wasn't a dream. Sparkles, the Christmas wish elf, had made my Christmas wish a reality. Abby. Come on, we're waiting. Katie's voice rang out, the urgency evident. I took a deep breath, trying to process the extraordinary events that had unfolded. With a newfound sense of confidence and acceptance, I embraced the reality that I was now Abby. The magic had carried into the waking world, and I was living the Christmas wish I had held so dearly. As I joined my family downstairs, the room buzzed with excitement. Mom, Dad, and Katie gathered around the Christmas tree, their eyes lighting up as they saw me. Abby, there you are. Come join us for presents. Mom exclaimed, a smile spreading across her face. They all only knew me as Abby, none of them questioned why I was a girl for, or even asked where Eric was. I sat down amidst the festive wrapping paper, the reality of the situation sinking in. The joy of the holiday season enveloped me, and I couldn't help but revel in the magic that had transformed my life. Presents were exchanged, laughter echoed through the room, and the aroma of Christmas breakfast filled the air. Throughout it all, I marveled at the warmth of love from my family. Okay, girls, while I get breakfast ready how about if you two go ahead and get dressed? We will be heading to grandma's house after breakfast. Both Katie and I smiled and raced back up the stairs. In my room, I stood before the closet, still in awe of the reality I found myself in. The clothes hanging there were now mine to choose from, no longer bound by the limitations of what society deemed appropriate for a boy. I ran my fingers over the fabrics, the vibrant colors, and the variety of styles. It kind of made me sad to think that I wouldn't have time to try on everything that was in here. Hanging on the closet door I found the Christmas dress that replaced the boring Christmas sweater that mom always bought for me to wear during Christmas. I carefully took the dress off the hanger, feeling the soft fabric in my hands. It was a beautiful red dress with white and green snowflakes on the trim, the sight of it brought a smile to my face as I imagined myself wearing it. The magic of the moment was still very much alive, and I was determined to savor every aspect of it. I took off the nightgown and put it in the laundry basket. I then quickly went to my dresser and grabbed a new pair of panties and a red bra. Even though I never put on a bra as a boy before I seemed to know how to hook the hook hooks behind my back like a pro. I was amazed by the fact that I had breasts. Of course, I have seen girls my age having boobs, but I never thought that I would have a pair of my very own. As I changed into the dress, I couldn't help but admire the reflection in the mirror. The girl staring back at me, adorned in the festive Christmas dress, felt like a dream come true. Sparkles had not only granted my wish but had also given me the opportunity to experience the joy of being my true self during the most magical time of the year. Once dressed, I carefully adjusted my hair, feeling the soft strands fall gracefully around my shoulders. 
The transformation was complete, and I felt a newfound sense of confidence and happiness. The red dress seemed to complement the holiday spirit that filled the air. I opened the door, and Katie greeted me with wide-eyed excitement. Abby, you look so pretty. Mom is going to love that dress. I chuckled, appreciating Katie's enthusiasm. Together, we headed downstairs. The scent of breakfast lingered in the air, and the anticipation of the day ahead filled me with a sense of gratitude. As I entered the living room, Mom turned around, her eyes sparkling with joy. My two precious girls you both look so amazing. Both Katie and I smiled, but I smiled the most. I waited 16 long years to hear her say that to me. The day unfolded in a whirlwind of joy and laughter. Grandma's house was filled with the warmth of family, delicious food, and the festive spirit of Christmas. The transformation that had taken place in my life brought about a sense of liberation and authenticity that I had never experienced before. Grandma welcomed us with open arms, her eyes twinkling with delight as she saw me in the red Christmas dress. Abby, my dear, you're blossoming into such a beautiful young lady. I've always said, Christmas has a way of making miracles happen. I blushed at the compliment, feeling a surge of happiness. It was amazing how the magic of Christmas had not only granted my wish, but had also woven a sense of acceptance and understanding into the fabric of my family. Throughout the day, I reveled in the simple joys of being Abby. From helping in the kitchen to playing board games with Katie, every moment felt like a precious gift. The love and acceptance I received from my family made the Christmas wish even more special. As the day progressed, I couldn't help but wonder about Sparkles, the Christmas wish elf. Was he watching over me, ensuring that my Christmas was everything I had hoped for? The thought brought a smile to my face, and I felt a connection to the magical world that had momentarily crossed paths with mine. In the evening, as the sky darkened and the stars emerged, we gathered around the fireplace for a cozy moment of sharing stories. Grandma began to recount tales of Christmas magic from her own childhood, and my heart swelled with gratitude for the enchanting experience I had been granted. My family and I got home about 10 o'clock. Dad carried as sleeping Katie into the house while I helped Mom bring in the gifts that we received. Once done, I took mine up to my room and set them on my bed. All the gifts that I received were nice, but none of them compared to the gift that Santa and Sparkles gave me. As I sat on my bed, surrounded by the gifts and the remnants of a magical Christmas day, a bittersweet feeling washed over me. The joy and wonder of the day were undeniable, but the knowledge that it was a temporary transformation lingered in the back of my mind. I looked at the clock, realizing that midnight was approaching. The realization that the magic that had turned me into Abby would soon fade made me appreciate the remaining moments even more. I heard a soft chime, and to my surprise, Sparkles appeared in a burst of sparkles. He perched on the windowsill, his tiny figure illuminated by the soft glow of the moon. Hello, Abby, Sparkles greeted with a twinkle in his eyes. I hope you've had a magical Christmas day. I nodded, a mix of gratitude and sadness filling my heart. It's been more amazing than I could have ever imagined. Thank you for granting my wish, Sparkles. Sparkles chuckled. The pleasure is all mine, Abby. Christmas magic is about bringing joy and fulfilling sincere wishes. You embraced the magic, and your genuine desire allowed the transformation to happen. I walked over to him, as I did, I tried to remember every feeling that I could. The dress danced around my legs. The softness of my hair against my fingertips. The weight of the bra and the sensation of having breasts. The freedom of choosing clothes from the closet without constraints. I wanted to capture every detail before the inevitable return to my previous self. I wish I could stay like this forever, I admitted, a hint of sadness in my voice. But I am ready to return to being Eric, as we agreed. I closed my eyes and prepared to feel the magic around me, but I waited, and nothing happened, I opened my eyes to see Sparkles still looking at me and the dress still on me. Sparkles tilted his head, a mischievous glint in his eyes. Abby, sometimes the magic of Christmas leaves a lasting impact. Your sincere wish, your acceptance, and the love of your family have created a unique enchantment. You may not turn back to Eric as we initially planned. I blinked in surprise, a mix of emotions swirling within me. 
You mean, I get to stay like this? Sparkles nodded. Christmas magic is full of surprises, and in your case, it seems to have worked in a way that extends beyond the usual enchantment. Enjoy being Abby, not just for Christmas, but for the days to come. A surge of joy and gratitude overwhelmed me. The thought of being able to continue my life as Abby filled me with a newfound sense of liberation and happiness. Sparkles waved his hand, and a small gift box appeared. For you, Abby. A token of the magic you've embraced and the journey you've embarked on, Sparkles said, presenting the gift. I opened the box to find a delicate silver necklace with a tiny snowflake pendant. It sparkled in the moonlight, and I couldn't help but smile. Thank you, Sparkles. This has truly been the most magical Christmas. As Sparkles prepared to leave, he gave me a mischievous wink. Remember, Abby, the magic of Christmas is not just about transformations, it's about the joy, love, and kindness we share. Keep the spirit alive in your heart. With that, Sparkles disappeared in a burst of sparkles, leaving me standing in my room, surrounded by the remnants of a magical day. I touched the pendant on the necklace, feeling a connection to the extraordinary journey I had experienced. The clock struck midnight, and I realized that the enchantment was indeed lasting. I smiled, grateful for the unexpected turn of events. As I settled into bed, I knew that the magic of Christmas would always be a part of me. The next morning, I woke up as Abby, the Christmas wish fulfilled and a new chapter of my life beginning. The world looked different, and I embraced it with open arms.